Hello, I'm Deb Knight. Welcome to A Current Affair. First, the supermarket boss fed up with thieves treating his stores like an all-you-can-take smorgasbord. He's fighting back by posting videos of the thieves and has a huge following for his running commentary. This crew doesn't look sus at all. He's the sassy supermarket chief. If you have any information on the Oral B Bandit, DM us so we can just check out his beautiful smile. Racking up thousands of views online by roasting. Guys, what am I looking at here? Almost didn't see him in this camouflage great outfit. Probably taken, I mean, purchased from BCF. This guy's got more stuff stuffed in that bag than Santa's got in his sack. Or is he the sack? It's definitely Christmas in July at Hackham. They come alone. They strike in twos. Awesome and Magic is back, the Thelma and Louise edition. And they walk out with trolleys full of freebies. Open the door, why don't you just come right through? I mean, you do got to laugh like this. But these thieves cop it, and it's not always from the cops. The reason that she couldn't produce a receipt is because her brand new Gucci bag was stolen. Well, lucky for you. Found your Gucci bag. DM me if you want it back. We don't call them thieves, we call them magicians because now you see the product and now you don't. JP Drake, director of Drake Supermarkets, is the brains behind the busting. I have people that say you shouldn't be saying this, you're a person of privilege and you should be, shouldn't be saying that. It's all they're just trying to feed their families. They are not trying to feed their families with Wagyu and grass-fed Angus Pure steaks. The products taken are taken and sold on other marketplaces, so I'm not worried about that. And if people are in need, go see a charitable organisation to help you out. JP is sick and tired of these thieving magicians, as he calls them, stealing from his supermarkets in South Australia and Queensland. So he started tagging the mickey out of them in these comical videos back in 2021, in the hope the public would be able to identify them. And we have enough footage to do our own TV show, so I don't think we'll be stopping in a hurry. JP says those who feature must be repeat offenders. This guy's getting around. He has hit our stores 15 times in the last month. You heard me, 15 times. And that is over $5,000 of meat. The best bit is they're working. I'd say 90% of people that we put up there uh, have been prosecuted. I'm like um, Batman without a cape. Right now, Drake Supermarkets is trying to catch more than 100 repeat offenders. On average, they'll stuff about $81 worth of goods into a basket and walk out. High-value products are most sought after, like quality meats, health and beauty products and apparel. In the space of two years, the supermarket chain has seen a 236% increase in reported theft. We have more repeat offenders than we do supermarkets. As a family business, theft and shrinkage costs us over $10 million. We could be using that money to put back into cheaper pricing or even into donating to more charitable organisations out there. In the past year, 18 thefts at Drake's have turned violent. Wrestling, hair pulling, even bottle throwing. They're as shocking as they are common. And according to Paul Zara, CEO at the Australian Retailers Association, it kicked off during COVID. One in four retail crime attempts actually involve customer aggression. We saw a heightened level of customer aggression through COVID, which whilst not um, acceptable, was understandable, but that level of customer aggression has unfortunately continued up beyond COVID. Paul says crime like this costs retailers $9 billion a year. It could be more um, because we don't actually have the sophistication uh, and the network to get all the information because not all things are reported. But what they do know is crims are getting clever and pinching something from a shop has got organised. Shoplifting has sort of morphed into beyond just 
um, uh, that average uh, shoplifter, um, it, it, it goes into also professional and organised crime, which is a much more professionalism around shoplifting, where two to three people may get involved with the, with the view around on selling that merchandise. Paul says shoplifting has become an even bigger issue in recent months and businesses are throwing everything at stopping it. Woolworths has begun trialling these automatic gates at self-serve checkouts. If a customer tries to leave without paying, the gates will block their escape. There's no doubt that people that shoplift become more confident and they ultimately will get caught. There's been a significant investment in technology and that's, that's continuous and that technology is, is allowing retailers to gather information, gather data, to be able to hand over to police so these people get apprehended. For those who haven't been caught yet, there's always your conscience that might catch up with you. You can't just walk in to a retail outlet and walk out with something without paying for it, no matter how hard times are. And police statistics show shoplifting is up by more than 30% across the country.